what's up guys i'm back with another video and today we've just hit 80 subscribers so um well i hit 80 subscribers like about like uh like a week and a half ago possibly two weeks so in this video because i've hit 80 subscribers i'm i'm going to be doing a demo of this bus right here um this it i made this bus and completed like in about um like January, I think. Um, as you can see, it's made. Of, it's made of paper. Um, these wheels, um, I put. I stuck um, Lego wheels. Um, it, these were from my my old car, my le old Lego car. So, um, this bus is also a little bit of an action um, type of um, project. Doors can open. The two, the front doors can too. Yeah, and um, the great thing about this bus is um, I made this bus so it officially looks like this one. Um, not sure if it, does, if it looks a little bit similar, kind of. Anyway, this bus um, didn't take me, um, well, it took me less than a week to make it, and the windows, I made it out of um, a, a clear paper bag, I, I just cut it into um, strips, stuck them onto the bus to make, to make the windows, here's the windscreen, here's the back. Here's the side, and as you can see inside, um, right there is a button, a button for people to press if they need to get off anywhere. And if you can see inside, I put these wheelchair spaces um, for people for people using mobility aids. And there's more on this side, right there. And um, if you're wondering, I didn't I didn't realize this what happened. But, um, I, f I totally forgot that if I put the roof on, um, I can't actually put my finger in there so I can actually lift the seats up. Well, I'm just telling you that that's what people, that's what the, the special people use. Yeah, and, um, the only thing that, that this bus is missing is the, the Mikey card, the Mikey, um, cards. The, the Mikey like top the scanning things I don't, I'm not sure what they what you call them yeah and these photos are um are photos of of when I started from the beginning and and went from and ended up with the bus. So as you can see for the first photo, I put the f the two doors in, and the, and also the front livery right there. The second photo is just another angle of what um, the side looks like. This one is when I started putting some of the seats in. You see these blue things inside are the seats. Here's another angle, and at this point, um, you could move the the sideways seats up so for the for the special people. It's the top view, and I, th at this point, I started making new seats at at the back and behind. Here's another view. And I don't know if you can see this, but at the back, um, I started building the back with um, Lego, so I could make the the structure at the back um, more intact. Because in my last bus, it 
kind of got a little bit squashed. So now I knew what to do. Here's the back view. Back view. And at the back, I started doing some little spaces for the wheels to go in. And this is where we get into the real stuff. More seats at the back, including the very back seats. And these orange thingies are the handles. Here's the side view. And they will go down and then stop between the last door. And here's the picture of what what the bus, what type of bus I was creating. And this is the bit where I started doing the driver's cab. You see there's a seat there and the bit where the, it will separate the driver's driver's cab and the very behind seat and then this is when the roof comes in the roof came in so I made this little flap this flap was where that um, I would glue this flap to the top of the roof so I'll stick it to the top of the roof and the hand and some of the handles at the back will connect to the top of the roof so it will connect and the roof won't fall as you can see like this here's the back and also i put the little details at the back too at the very back roof This was when I started putting the windows on. And the very last photo. You can see the windows along the bus. And the, the two wheels are just sitting there in the spaces I created for them. And as you might have noticed, this bus is called Dyson's and the reason why it's my favorite um, type of bus is because it's green and green as you may know is my favorite color and today the bus still looks like this and here's the front you can you can sort of see inside A little finger there. And this button right here, there's a button right here, and that is, and that is where that the, the wheelchair people or the I don't know what to call them. Um, they sit there, and when they have to get off, they press this button right here, and it will give them more time to exit out of the bus. And if you guys are wondering, well, I'm not, I'm not sure if I showed you, but this red thingy at the front of the two doors is this this red thingy is actually a ramp for for the peop for the um the special people as so the um so the wheelchairs can actually so the drive as the driver will come or the driver will come out and he will step out lift this ramp out and it will go onto the ground so the special people can just Ride along out of the bus, and they, and they can get off. Then all the driver has to do is just lift up the ramp, place it back in the bus, and get back in the cab and start the bus again. And at the top is it's just um, I'm not sure what it's called um, it's I put I, again I put like I put a few pieces of Lego here so they could um, become the thing I'm not sure what it's called and as you may have noticed it's hard to see at the back there's I put a no smoking sign 
As you may know, in buses, you're not allowed to smoke. And apparently, to make the bus more realistic, um, I didn't actually put any graffiti in here. I didn't draw any, like, heavy metals or some sort of graffiti. I just wanted to keep it clean and look like it, it looks brand new. And the black, the blacks, um, black spots on the bus, at the front and back, are the, are the, um, the labels of where the destination of the bus is. So, so like, pretend it, it's going to Doncaster, and th there should be a number, um, right next to the destination. And at the back, there usually is, um, a, a wider panel for the letters to show on, but in this case, at the back of this bus, it only has space for numbers, so it can show you what route it is. And this, and this bus is obviously a part of public transport or PT, which stands for public transport, and. Usually, when I go on a Dyson's bus, I would see a sign saying, just above the tyre, Welcome. So guys, this will be the end of this video, and the reason why I made this video, again, I'm going to tell you, is because I'm, I'm going to be celebrating 80 subscribers, well, right now I have 85 yeah, but it means that um, we're going to be going to 90 soon, and yeah, and 90 is still not my goal. Um, if I hit 100, I'm probably going to do a really big special 100 subs, 100 subs video. So yeah, um, it will be out now, and so if, and if I'm lucky, I might be able to do some giveaways of some origamis, and... Yeah, so, if you guys like this video, make sure to give a big fat thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel, please support my, um, my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.